Hey guys, what's going on? Troy at Mountain Man Treasure here. It's time for What's Old Wednesday. Martin Man. Martin Man. Treasures. So today, today, we take a look into my eBay sales. We'll look at what sold here over the last few days. We had a what sold video uh, just a couple days ago on Monday. That looked at what sold for five days. And then this is what sold and the two after that. So the first thing that we sold, this Yak Tracks. This uh, helps you gain traction in the snow and on the ice. Picked this up early this summer for a dollar at a garage sale, and it sold for $16.98 free shipping. This Rams mug I picked up for a couple bucks at Goodwill. It took a little bit of time to sell. I sent out an offer, and they accepted. So uh, not a lot of uh, money here, but $11.04 plus shipping. So we did make a few bucks. This invisible fence battery, this another part of that uh, bulk lot that we got of pet products from 888 lots. Uh, so we are in $2.32 into each individual item if you kind of figure the math on every single one of them. Uh, so $2.32 in, this sold for $9.97 free shipping. That doesn't leave a whole lot, but we have other things that are selling, uh, of course, for more than that. So every sale is going to add up there. This G.I. Joe file card, uh, not a lot of dollar value here either, but we paid $5 for an entire box of G.I. Joe stuff uh, last year. I still have a couple of stragglers, this one of them. So $7.55 free shipping on that guy. These baubles, I picked these up. You'll see this uh, coming up on the weekend. Uh, I picked these up on Saturday. Got a whole box of them for 15 bucks. So individually, we're uh, just about 32 cents into each one of these. Uh, so for this set here, we're in $1.50 in total. I lotted them up in different colors and numbers and that sort of thing. And somebody from Brazil bought two different sets of them in two different colors all in. They were $34.98 plus the international shipping. So that a uh, really nice deal. We make a little bit extra on that because all of the U.S. listings are free shipping. So when they pay the, the shipping charge, we make a few extra bucks, and I like that. This Beastman was a Walmart retail arbitrage pickup, uh, $14 and change on him. This went for $68.96 Australian dollars. Uh, the Australian dollar not quite as strong as ours, but after we pay fees, after we pay shipping, all of that, uh, after our buy costs, you know, in the end, we profit about $10 total after everything is figured in. So not bad for retail arbitrage. This leather stocking, really, really cool. It's actually been hanging up over by my shipping center for a while. I picked this up early in the summer. It was actually uh, in the same string of sales that I bought those Yak Tracks. Uh, this uh, handmade leather uh, it's got uh, hide on the front. Really, really cool. A couple bucks. And it sold for $45.49. So I priced high and I just waited. And Christmas stuff, guys, if you have Christmas stuff, start listing it. I know you're looking at Halloween right now, but I've been picking up watchers on ornaments. I've sold uh, two stockings. I got another one to show you here in a minute. Uh, Christmas stuff is starting to be looked at by people. So if you've got Christmas stuff, start getting it listed because people are now shopping for Christmas stuff. The Build-A-Bear Rainbow Plush, not a big dollar item here, but I only paid a dollar and it went for $9.97 plus shipping. This uh, He-Man Funko set, it's He-Man and Skeletor. Again, this is a Walmart arbitrage pickup. They're moving very slow, but I've only got one set of these left. And so we're about, uh, I think it's like $48 into these they're about because what I did was I paired the two together uh, so that whoever was buying them bought a set. I thought it would work better that way. I don't know. Uh, th this is not the greatest pickup. Don't go out and find these because they're moving very, very slow and you're not making much off of the investment. So here you go, 94, 91 euros. That comes out to uh, just under 112 bucks. And uh, I remember though, we're basically $50 in. So after you do the math, and take out fees and shipping and all that, we net about $20, somewhere between $18 and $20. So, you know, it, it's an okay profit margin, but it's not great. So I wouldn't probably pick these up again. Uh, Bark the Herald Angels Sing. 
Yeah, it's a stocking for your dog. I can't even remember how much I paid for this. My guess is I bundled it with some other Christmas stuff. So it's probably a quarter or 50 cents from last year. And it sold for $14 free shipping. Again, with the baubles, uh, all told, these baubles are going to make us a couple hundred dollars. This is a good pickup. Uh, this is a set of three, so we're just under a dollar in. And it sold for $19.59 free shipping. But they're actually really, really light. So the shipping is not that much. It goes first class shipping. This Denver Broncos hat, uh, this one that I picked up in a bulk deal of hats. So I'm right about a dollar and a quarter in and it sold for $12 free shipping. And this Old Dominion Pez dispenser still in the package. This is a very limited uh, edition, very limited run apparently on this Pez dispenser. Lots of those are not really worth anything but you can find some that are and this is one that was we picked this up in billings early in the summer for i think it was two or three dollars is what we paid for it and it sold for 31 dollars and 49 cents now i'm not sure if this went out to a, a a watcher or not if this went out to well it went out to a watcher i think i don't know if it went out to a subscriber of the youtube channel i did send a, a, an offer out to watchers because this was like 34 dollars and change i think I sent out an offer of 5% off, and they accepted. Now, I don't know if they added a note on there. It said, thank you, Cheryl. I don't know if they were just thanking me because I sent the offer or uh, if they are thanking me because they're a watcher of the channel, and I sent an offer. But either way, Cheryl, thanks very much. Starbucks Houston mug. Now, I'm a little bit more into this than typically I would be, and uh, we're trying something out new with a buddy of mine. Uh, you've seen him on a couple of videos. He's been interviewed in our Keeping It Real. Uh, very, very good reseller, Jeff. Uh, he's a good friend of mine. He's the one that taught me when I first got started in this. He's my Yoda, and he came up with an idea. He's got a garage. He doesn't have a death pile. He has a death garage. Um, and he's moving more towards selling on Mercari and Amazon and that sort of thing. But he's got stuff that will sell well on eBay. And he actually enjoys taking photos. Um, he's a really, really good photographer as well. So uh, he pitched an idea to me. And so he had, I think it was four mugs. And uh, actually these uh, back here, where, yeah, there we are. The uh, Those are from, I think, 1980. It's uh Star Wars birthday invitations. Actually, I think it's, you know, Empire Strikes Back birthday invitations, something. Um, really, really cool. New old stock things. Um, I paid $25 for those and four mugs. Three of them, uh, Starbucks, I, uh, as I recall, and one, just a different uh, different mug. Definitely paying up, right? That That's a lot. But we're trying something out. He is photographing all of them. So he cleans them. I mean, he's sourced them. He's cleaned them. He's photographed them. Uh, and then he airdrops the photos onto my phone. And so literally all I had to do is decide what's the price point that I want and make the listing. So I made five listings in five minutes really, really fast. And look right here, you can see the photo. The photo is very good. Um, and so, yeah, Jeff knows what he's doing. He's getting me good stuff. And so this Starbucks Houston mug sold for $17.49 plus shipping. So our profit margin, not as high, but the time invested was minimal, very, very small. So we're going to try that out on a few more things. I mean, this is the first thing that sold. And so we'll see. I think we're going to try it again. It's a good business model, I think. I, I don't think it's one that you can rely on as that's all you do. But, you know, it's making me a little bit of money. It's making Jeff a little bit of money. And uh, it's saving me some time in making those listings. So I like it so far. Uh, the next thing that we've got here, this Korean bolo tie. I tried like Google Translate on this thing to figure out what in the heck it said. Um, I picked this up from an estate sale. A guy had a lot of Asian. I, he was military and he spent some time uh, over there. And, and so there was a lot of that type of stuff. Um, the Google translate was very confusing. I would come up with things like it was all on a theme. So I'm not sure what this bolo tie was, but when I was scanning it, I would get like bathroom, restroom, toilet, weird stuff like that. I don't know what this was for. I couldn't figure it out. Uh, but I listed it anyway. It was so weird. I picked it up for like a dollar in, uh, in a pile of stuff. I thought it was so unique at some point, maybe somebody would want it. And, uh, I, th I think I got this last year, so it took a while, but somebody picked it up. $16.99 free shipping. 
Um, then we've got the Back to the Future. I picked this up last weekend, uh, I believe, at a garage sale. This was new and sealed. It was the an anniversary edition. I knew this was going to go. It was listed for $24 and change. They sent me an offer of $20. I could have countered, or I could have just waited. Eventually, this was going to sell for right about $25, especially with Christmas coming. Um, but I've, I've changed my mindset a little bit. When I first started, I was trying to squeeze every penny out of every sale. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm changing a little bit as we get going. I'm okay with moving this sooner. It's going out two months sooner, and I made two, three, four dollars less. That's fine. I'm, I'm trying to churn some of this stuff through more. Now, I'm, I'm not going to take a ridiculous offer, but if, it, if it's a legitimate offer, yeah, you know what? It's good enough. So uh, there are days when offers aren't great, but they're good enough. And this was a good enough offer at $20 free shipping. Shiny Bright. Keep an eye out for Shiny Bright ornaments. I picked this up at the garage sale where I bought the Tidy Whities from the Grammy. Um, <laughs> this They were 50 cents. I put them to auction. I had a couple of people. I had like 11 watchers on these things. And ultimately, uh, we turned a 50 cent buy into $17.49 plus shipping. And then the last thing, Minecraft 360, for the uh, for the 360, uh, picked this up. I think it was a couple dollars. And uh, it sold for $19.59. It didn't even have the manual. So if you had the manual in there, it's probably going to sell for about 25 bucks. So those are the things that we've sold here in the eBay store over the last about two and a half days or so. It's been a pretty busy, not a lot of high dollar items. There's a couple nice ones in there. You know, the, the, the stocking was a fantastic sale uh, to have that one in there. I was really happy to get that. Um, but uh, some really good return on investment and some high volume because the fourth quarter is starting, guys. I can see it. I'm dropping off more and more packages. Now, right now, they're the smaller dollar packages, but that's going to change. People are going to be starting to buy Christmas presents. Uh, if you're not ready, I said it in the last video, if, if you're not ready, uh, get those shipping supplies. Use your eBay coupon uh, get in there and use your eBay coupon to uh, help you out. Buy some of those supplies. Get tape, get bubble wrap, whatever you're going to get. Because here in about a month and a half, when you need it and you order it, they're going to be backed up. And it's going to take forever to get it. So uh, just some friendly advice from a guy that's been through a fourth quarter before. Make sure that you have all of your supplies. That's what we got for today, guys. I sure appreciate it. We're going to cut this thing off. And I'll see you next time. Bye.